Well, it's about that time again. It is time for another monthly video of Wuthering Waves, because I tend to only do these once a month, because there's not too much we can do on pistols only. However, we are back because, uh, well, two reasons. One, we have the new update, so there is that new quest that we're going to do. Get that done, go to the Black Shores area, which is over here somewhere. But the other reason why we're here is I have been farming a ton, so I will probably be able to finish off everyone. I'm going to need some more stuff for Mortify. That's going to be fun. And then, obviously, Chisha is already maxed out. She's level 90 with a level 90 weapon. Pretty solid echoes and all maxed out fortes. She's sitting at the 65 to 257, so not bad there. But we have to do that with these two as well. Alto is already level 90. Mortify is still level 80. So we're going to try to get everyone up. I have been farming quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, we're just going to be missing these. And I think we should be good for everything else. So hopefully we have enough of them. So I'm going to start this quest. And I'll do probably enough of it till we get to the Black Shores area. Then I can get near a synthesized thing. And I can start crafting up stuff to get those two. Mortify and Alto all leveled up and maxed out. We have now arrived at the Black Shores. That now means we have this event thing going on here. We will deal with that later. I have already finished as much as I can of this event. I've gotten all of the easier ones done and I can't do the harder ones. My characters just don't do enough damage. So I probably won't do that harder event because it doesn't even give you any asteroid anyway. So there's no point doing it. The other event I will also not be able to do is this event because this has this stuff, which I'll be able to get the weapon one maybe and the echo. I'll be able to get these three done. There's not the character one. I did this character one. I did do that because I crafted something and dungeon had the little exclamation mark because she had all of the things she needed to be ascended and it was annoying me. So I just ascended her. So that little red dot went away. So that gave us one thing of the new event. Well, now we arrived at the actual city part of the Black Shores. It is so cool. I love the look of this place. And we get the only camellia part in this quest, which I'm really annoyed about because I was thinking that surely because we're going to the Black Shores, we get camellia. But this is the only mention of camellia in this entire quest. This little three lines of dialogue about these flowers. Which I'm annoyed about, but I mean, Camellia is coming out next update, so I'm assuming we're getting a lot more Camellia stuff next update. Now, before we build the characters, here's some damage tests. Mortify hits 3k on his big one. His uh, dodge attack hits around 600 to 700 on his basic attacks. On that bigger basic attack, he hits about 1600. He hits. About 4k on his skill, 5k there on his bigger skill, and his burst ultimate thing hits, uh, I think I'm seeing hits of about 5 to 3 to 500, I think I saw there. So not very big damage at all. Alto does about 3 to 400, 800 there, okay, 3 to 800 with a big hit of 1300. His skill that's about 7k i think his dodge does 1300 first 5k okay not huge damage from those guys but honestly that is not really expected because they're both not built to do damage whatsoever so we're gonna try to get them both to hit an average of about one to two thousand normal attacks is what I want. That would be nice. Then all their other damage should go up a decent amount from that. And they should have pretty solid overall damage. This summary thing is cool and I like it. But it adds an extra button into skipping dialogue. So it's not as useful. Because really, no one is using the skip cutscene button if they actually want to know the story. The skip cutscene button is there for people who don't really care about the story. Okay, now that is unlocked, let's go over to, where is it? Over here. And we are going to grab all the stuff we need and get 
auto and mod be maxed out as much as we possibly can. So let's start off with Alto because he is already level 90. He is currently at, what, what do we call this? C1, R1. What's resonance chain to be R1? I don't know. He's got one of them. So let's get started with these. We're going to do these ones up here first because they generally are the best. As you can see, we have 46 of the weekly boss drops. So we shouldn't have a problem with them, hopefully. Well, there we go. That's all of these extra talent stuff leveled up. Now we go through and level up all of these. We are now out of those things. Okay. And with that, that is Alto's Fortes all maxed out. All of them are up to 10 and we've got everything else. That just leaves his weapon and his echoes. Let's have a look at echoes. Actually, let's do weapons first because they're guaranteed upgrade, so it's easier. Well, we can craft 251 purples. So let's hope this is enough. If not, we can also craft 204 blues. That's going to give us 84 golds. Surely that's enough. And there we go. Alto's weapon is now up to level 90. So that is Alto basically maxed except for Echoes. We are running him on the Rejuvenating Glow set for healing. He's running this one because it's the only one that heals. Ooh, lovely piece that one there. Let's get some ER. How about that? Energy recharge. Finish this piece off very, very nicely. Perfect. Okay, well, that's a very nice piece for Mortify. I kind of don't want to do too much stuff with Echoes because you can easily get down the rabbit hole of just doing Echoes over and over and over again, and you just won't stop. You just keep upgrading Echoes until you get something perfect, and I kind of don't want to do that. Ooh, nice. This could be good. This would be our double attack one, or our attack for cost sorted. You know what? I'll take it. There we go. Now we just need an arrow damage one. We have this, but this is pretty bad. I think we found it. Come on. Do good things. Roll attack ER. I don't actually already got ER on it. Attack. I don't really care what you roll, to be honest. This piece looks nice. Def. Sure. Don't really care. Boom. There we go. That just leaves this four cost piece, which is pretty garbage. Please give us crit damage. Ooh, yes. Thank you. And again, don't really care what you roll. However, some damage bonus would be nice. Heavy attack. It's okay. There we go. Alto's build. We have the one cost feather there. Feather? What? Excuse me. This is not Genshin Impact. We have the one cost piece here, which is pretty decent. That is giving us his healing. We have double attack with some nice stats. Error damage with some nice stats crit rate with double crit there and we have this piece which isn't incredible however we don't have really anything else so it will do that now puts him at 55 to 223 1600 hp nope 16,000 hp and 1400 attack 187 er and there we go that is alto now maxed he is level 90 his weapon is level 90 he's got pretty solid echoes and all of his fortes are maxed out now we move on to Mortify. We're going to face a small problem here, and that is I'm hoping I have enough uh, money for this. What's the currency in this game called? I've been playing this for like six months now. What is this called? Shell credits. There we go. Uh, I think we should have enough. However, we shall see. So, first step is Mortify can now go to 90. Boom. There we go. Hush, please be quiet. Thank you. So that is now all three of our pistol users maxed out or level wise. These again, we're going to start with these top ones and then we work our way to completing all of the other ones. We need a lot more of them. Well, there's those three maxed out. We have three of them up to eight, but we have run out of these. Oh, wait, before we continue. We have this, because we hit Union level 65. Let's see if we have... We can get three blues from that. 
Let's hope this can give us some of the things we need. We can fully claim this one though. We have tuned 100 echoes. We can get 21 of those. So uh, let's see if that's enough. I'm not liking our chances, but we give it a shot. Well, we can get everything up to nine, but now we have run out of the whispering cores. Those, we have run out of them. We can get his weapon up though, so we can put that up to 80. Hopefully we can go 90. Mortify's weapon can go up to 90, which puts everyone and their weapons all up to 90. We're just missing some of these and shell credits to max out Mortify's fortes. We also may need to look at Echoes. That's fine. I mean, that one's good. That one is also fine. Hold up. We can get four more of the these things. We can get one of them up to ten. Well, we are now completely out of shell credits and Whispering Cores. So... We will get back to Mortify. Let's go finish off this quest because that should hopefully give us a bit of shell credits. And then I will probably go farm something to hopefully get us those Whispering Cores. Well, let's get this quest done and then we'll see what we can do about finishing off Mortify. I am most likely... This is a sick cutscene, by the way. I am most likely going to have to go out and farm those whispering cores and then use the trail what oh my god now we're mixing up honkai star rail things again wave plates there we go i'm gonna go out and use them and farm shell credits well now with alto being maxed out what does he do his normal attacks do about 1300 with that big hit doing 4k if we use his skill and go through his skill we're hitting hits of about 1500 which is pretty decent for the amount of hits we do and his dodge did 5k now we just have his burst to test out his ultimate what are we doing 9k not huge however you need to remember he is not meant to damage and now he's dead well Alto is definitely doing more damage. That is great. Now I just need to finish off Mortify and then we can see how much damage he does. And now we get another bit that makes you feel like... Oh my god, stop pressing that button. Thank you. Now we get another bit that makes you feel more stressed than you should be. Because there is a timer. And any time where there's a timer to something makes it feel like... It's uh, a lot harder than what it actually is. Because in this case, it's uh, not very difficult. Well, it wouldn't be very difficult if my internet could work properly. Because it's dying at the moment. Well, there goes the shorekeeper into the tether system. And now we could skip. Why can't we skip this bit? Not really that important. I mean, compared to the rest of the story. If you haven't done the rest of the story, this bit would make zero sense, so let's skip this, come on. Okay, and now we get Shorekeeper out of the tether system. Ah yes, this makes sense. We uh, slide along dead flat, I don't even know what this is, Rainbow Road I guess. And now we get thrown into the boss fight, I'm pretty sure, against the newest boss. Is that correct? I mean, it looks a lot like it. And indeed, it is time to fight big mech thing. Ooh, but we're just forced into the rover. Okay, well, it's echo time. Okay, there we go. Never like doing those. Just, you know, fighting with the echo. Because, I mean, I'm not using the character. I'm not worried about that. It's just, it takes too long. I'm pretty sure that is the only time we are forced into a character. This is a pretty sick cutscene. Anytime we get Havoc, Rover is a pretty sick cutscene. Wuthering's Ways really brought back their story with this quest. It's been pretty decent up till now. No, it, it needed a little bit of work, which is pretty decent. But this quest is, it's really good. I like it. They did a very, very nice job with it. 
It's not like any crazy, crazy action. Like in the last two, we don't have any like crazy boss fights or crazy amounts of action. But it's just got a lot of good story and good character interactions. Plus, we get an absolute load of information about the rover's backstory or the where the rover came from, or whatever. It's just jam-packed with it. So, very good for the actual overall story of the game. Well, there we go. To the Shore's End is done. Almost. We just need to do this. This part is technically optional, but I might as well just actually fully finish it off. Okay, there we go. That is all done. Now, we do have more of this we can do. I know there's some more quests and stuff. I'm probably just going to either do that my own time or I'll actually, you know, I will probably do it my own time because there's nothing too crazy in here. There's nothing too crazy. It's all pretty simple stuff. So we'll deal with it later. We do have this we need to do now. Although I will get that done. This has 35 days left. Same with that. We've got plenty of time there. Otherwise, I've finished just about everything else. So we're all good with that. What we do have that I actually forgot about is over here. We have eight standard banner pools. So I'm not expecting anything because I'm pretty sure we just got a pistol not that long ago but we will pull anyway maybe we can get some wave bands wave plates wave whatever they're called for mortify and alto and shisha one of the three don't really mind who we get but i'd like to get a wave plate for someone oh okay never mind looks like we're going to acquire another pistol okay then we have some Pretty crazy luck on this banner, apparently, because there is no way I've done enough pulls to get one of them so far. And here is our four star. We get useless. I actually want to have a look at this petty. You actually can't see it, which is annoying. But yeah, okay, you can't see this petty, which I don't like. But uh, that has been a whole eight pity since we got our last five star. And before that, it was five pity so we basically got a weapon five more pulls later we got another five star weapon then eight pulls later we get another five star weapon which is kind of crazy that we have that good luck because we shouldn't have that much luck but um yeah we do so i mean i'm not complaining that now means that we do have four weapons so i'm probably going to throw this one into chishas we might even get this to rank five at some point so i'm not using it on anyone else so boom there we go this chishas pistol can go to rank three but i'm gonna make sure i at least have three of these pistols at all times so mortify and chisha can run them and then when we get another pistol dps they can have one as well so now we do have some more shell credits there we go so we are going to see if we can get something better for mortify that piece is fine it's not great but i don't really want to go hunting for double crits when we don't have that much shell credits that piece is fine and that piece is fine so it just leaves this fusion damage bonus and this one cost this piece could be so nice if we just hit crit rate Please, I'm begging you. Oh no, it looks like it's got 21% crit damage on it. That would have been so good. I'm going to lock it just because it's got a lot of crit damage. And we are out of shell credits. So, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go run that. Not that I need the drops from it, just because it gives you shell credits and the whispering thingies. So, I can double two in one get everything i need hopefully we'll see how this goes mm. well we could only get one of them up and we can't because we are completely out of shell credits and yeah we need a lot more of them so i think what i'm going to do is go do some farming i need a lot of those things these guys now i'm going to do this bit most likely off camera because it's boring and i'm not doing anything else except sitting here and farming a whole bunch and it's going to get cut out anyway. So there's no point recording it. So I just see you in anywhere from 20 minutes to 5 hours when I can get enough of the things I need. Okay, I have done way too much farming. But 
we now have enough to hopefully, fingers crossed, oh, thank God. Okay, we, we should be able to craft these. Hopefully, we should have enough of these to get Mortify's stuff all maxed out. I've done three runs of the shell credits thing. That gave us a pretty solid amount. That should be enough. And I have farmed, I think, one more than what we need for the Whisperer thing drops. Those ones. So now it's just making sure we have enough of everything else. And hopefully we're good. That's a very big hopefully because, yeah, I don't want to do any more farming. Can we... What are we missing out on? Shell credits. Great. Okay. Mortify's last forte can go up to level 10. So there we go. Mortify is maxed. Alto is maxed. And Chisha is maxed on their fortes. All three of them are level 90. And they all are running level 90 weapons. Alto is R1. I think that's what we're calling it. R1, C1, whatever you want to call this. Probably C1, I don't know. Yeah, he has one of them. Chisha has none, Mortify has three. Now all that's left is just seeing if I can get something slightly better. Not looking very good at all because we don't have any more one cost pieces that have attack on them. And we kind of want to run attack, which just leaves us with the ones that we already have leveled up. So we either have this, which is garbage, that which is also garbage, and that which is also, also garbage. However, out of the bunch, that one's going to be our best bet. Just because it has 21% crit rate. Crit damage, sorry. So, um, yeah, not great. And, yep, we can't even get one more level. So, that means that this is going to be our best piece for now. Which puts Mortify at 53 to 267, which honestly, that's fine. It doesn't need anything really better. If I might try getting some better pieces on him later when I can get more shell credits, but that's fine. He's got 180 ER, 17,000 HP, 1600 attack, 53 to 267. Let's go see what we are hitting now. Go against this new boss, because why not? We already know Alto is doubling his damage. More to fee. Intro skill did 5k. His normal attacks are doing now 17k, no, 1700. Yeah, around six to 600 to 1700. I did see a 5k there. I'm pretty sure that was his big attack. Now his skill, his, his, his skill does 12k. Damn, not bad. And his big skill did 4k. I don't think that critted. First does about I'm seeing around 1.2k around that and yeah 10k on his skill I am pretty happy with that that has about doubled his damage I think or around that I can't exactly remember what we started off damage wise but I think it's about doubled his damage now we can claim all of these and yeah we've just about completed everything we can currently do on this account all of the characters are basically maxed out. I could get some slightly better pieces for Mortify, but not by much. So they're basically all maxed out. We have completed all of the quests. So we've we've done some pretty good progress. Now all that's left is the end game content, which I can, you know, start to look at doing. And that will probably be the next videos you'll see on here because obviously there's not really too much I can do in terms of building characters because as I just said, they're all built. You won't be seeing other pistols only video for about a month because that tends to be about what happens. You get one pistol only video a month until they release more pistol characters and I can actually do more videos. I also might at some point do a video clearing up my quest log because, I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not n super nice. So I might do a video and clear up that quest log at some point. But yeah, with that being said, I think that's about all we can do today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.